so the Generale Foundation uh, has also made an international um, renomé by um, publishing um, monographies on artists and um, catalogues like uh, one of Gordon Walter Clark of his early work, so uh, making um, um, art historical and scientific publications on uh, comprehensive um, uh, readers as well as uh, uh, catalogues. And so another artist that has been this year at the Generale Foundation was Morgan Fisher. And so we have like two catalogues which look quite similar, uh, but uh, go actually, uh, actually together. One is his writings, uh, which is now uh, first time published. Um, uh, with his, uh, so Morgan Fisher, of course, is an avant-garde filmmaker, uh, very much interested in the medium itself. So uh, very self-reflexive, uh, where he is uh, uh, kind of... Um, uh, trying to um, elaborate on the uh, aspect of time, for instance, in film, but also on different formats. So these are his writings, while on the other side we would have um, uh, the two exhibitions. So this is more like the text part, of course, and here we go with um, uh, his, uh, one of his most famous work, which is, of course, um, uh, the one where one can see the, actually the film before the film, actually so the leaders, the so-called leaders, uh, uh, which come with uh, um, checking, so to say, the, um, uh, checking the uh, sharpness and the colors uh, of a film before the film itself begins. So it's more kind of an um, aspect of how, um, how one... Uh, so these are the projections... Uh, like uh, standard uh, gorge and Q rolls and this, for instance this is um, a piece of different mirrors and every mirror has actually a different size of one of the standard formats at a specific time of cinema so have, you start with the silent film and then you grew even larger up to cinema scope and total uh, and, um, and the different ratios actually of uh, of the screen and um, then, of course, you do have uh, his um, uh, relation to color. He's like collecting books on color with different color shades uh, from different, uh, from various um, um, decades. And so, uh, also very much working on the shadow. These, for instance, were pieces of monochrome paintings uh, presented in various lights. So, these are kind of uh, uh, glowing in the dark, so to say, and uh, therefore complementary colors. And this was really like, we can see the blue light here. And this was really like um, a, a very astonishing show. Here the mirror pieces again, so you can always see here like, this is Panavision with 240-21. So in order to actually, in order to, um, to state how the, um, how the framing of course of the view on the world would change than the world itself. And uh, so, yeah, this is picture and sound rushes, where he would have one time having just sound and one time just picture. It's a little bit quite an analogy to Peter Kubica's Arnold Kleiner, even though it works quite differently. This was another one. He would have three projectors, and, and every projector, he would have one color. And uh, they make the same movement, but they're not uh, screened at the same time, so they would move in a different way. And whenever they come across, since they are the three um, um, basic colors, they would then, in the projection, uh, come back to white. So actually he was filming a white ball, a white ping pong ball, uh, uh, um, over a kind of um, uh, air, uh, dancing in the air, and then coloring this film in three colors and doing three projections and overlaying it. And so there was then sometimes a very poetic piece, it's called Color Balance. And then, of course, there are his different uh, graphic works uh, where he would plan, uh, very much um, get on um, uh, on the theme of the shadow. So this would be, um, yes, this uh, very complete uh, two, uh, uh, two catalogues on Morgan Fisher.